Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to talk a little bit about Matrix Instant Messenger. Uh, but before I start, thank you Kector for, you know, forcing me <laughs> onto this uh, topic because uh, it's a good topic. I want to talk about Matrix a little bit. So for those of you who don't know what Matrix Instant Messaging is, think uh, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, um, Signal, or whichever is your favorite uh, matrix instant messaging is pretty much the same uh, except it's not because the basic uh, idea behind matrix is that this is a federated uh, chat protocol so what federated means is if you have ever used email in your life well email is federated uh, someone's email address might be uh, john.smith at gmail.com and this John Smith can't only send emails to uh, I don't know will.smith at gmail.com but he can also send emails to I don't know root at linuxrenaissance.com which is me uh, yeah so this is federation you can send uh, something a message to another user at a different server so this is how matrix works uh, you have a gazillions of servers around the globe all of them are matrix uh, and they are uh, interconnected with each other so when I want to send a private message to another matrix user my message will go from my matrix server to the other server where this user lives uh, in the virtual matrix space and to that username so we too can uh, talk to each other also if we are participating in a room a chat room uh, this chat room is federated among the different servers basically between mine and his uh, or some more of the servers and um, the way this works is that me, uh, I participate in this chat room on my own server and no other servers. Uh, the other user who is also in this room is actually participating not in my chat room but in his chat room on his server. But our servers are synchronizing the contents of this same room across both of the servers or uh, if there are more servers involved than across all of them so without further ado or without diving too deep into this topic in a technical way let's just say that you can have an account on any single one of the matrix servers on the world and you can talk with anyone else uh, who is using matrix on any other matrix server this is the beauty of this uh, protocol so why this is particularly interesting today is because the biggest matrix server that is currently in existence is matrix.org this is the let's call it a flagship matrix server but generally there isn't anything different between this server and my own server because they all pretty much behave the same and uh, the, the, the biggest difference is that Matrix.org hosts the biggest amount of people, uh, which is kind of obvious because when people want to try new uh, stuff, they kind of go with the flow and end up on the uh, recommended server. But there isn't anything special that is recommended about matrix.org because if you join any other matrix server as i said you will get the same experience except for uh, today and yesterday uh, because matrix.org literally died uh, and it hasn't been working uh, at the time of this recording it has been offline for the past 18 hours and uh, if you go to status.matrix.org you will see that uh, it says that they have no clue uh, when they are going to get it back up and running it could be back up and running uh, in the moment when i upload this video uh, but might as well be dead until tomorrow or whatever um, we, we can't know so why this is particularly interesting this is interesting because i participate in a lot of chat rooms uh, who are basically owned by other sysadmins who 
um, love the home lab thing and um, all of the geek stuff that makes us run our own servers so all of us can talk to each other without any issues today the only difference uh, since yesterday has been uh, that there is less people in various chat rooms uh, and this is because matrix org users simply cannot participate uh, in matrix chat uh, since yesterday uh, which as i said doesn't really stop me from participating in matrix chat uh, it's just that they cannot so this may be a good uh, let, let's call it a wake-up wake call uh, that I, I think people should join smaller servers because joining the uh, flagship matrix server doesn't really give you any uh, benefits uh, if uh, today is any indication it only gives you uh, a downside and this downside is actually the reason why I started having my own server is because for the past half a year matrix org has been constantly slow and laggy uh, in after work time let's call it in the prime time and I simply didn't really want to bother with that server anymore uh, so I uh, you know erected my own uh, and this has been a full uh, full like like a bingo you know uh, having your own server is really cool uh, it's a good practice for learning new technical things uh, also for pra practicing more of the Linux uh, sysadmin stuff and basically if you're not fully into that maybe your friends are so you can join their servers but also you can join some, join some other big servers like mozilla.org server um, th there is one uh, what is the name uh, unredacted dot org i think that, that one is kind of interesting is it also has a status web page so you can track how often it's down uh, but, but generally there are plenty of fully open uh, matrix servers uh, which you can join and participate in matrix chat um, also uh, another thing that uh, kector also uh, got me into is um, Installing my own bridge bot between my matrix room and uh, my IRTS uh, channel uh, on LibraChat. So for the past month or so we have been enjoying the cross-platform chat between IRTS uh, and my matrix uh, chat room. So uh, uh, some of you uh, who are following this channel have been uh, constantly hanging out on our IRTS side of the chat bridge uh, if I can um, express myself uh, in this way right so after the matrix org went down yesterday um, basically everyone who had an IRTS account has been uh, staying in touch with all of us uh, on my IRTS channel and this has been um, like a spot-on very nice solution uh, because the, the chat never really uh, died in my matrix chat room because of uh, the fact that many users use their own uh, matrix servers and those who don't now use the IRTS uh, server from Libera chat. So that's gonna be it from me today and I'm gonna wrap this up uh, for, for now you know and uh, thank you very much for liking this video, uh, subscribing and joining our IRTS uh, chat room on Libera chat it's uh, hashtag uh, Linux Renaissance and on um, matrix org uh, server if you join that one don't join that one uh, join any other one uh, it's um, well it's linked down below uh, of this video see you later